Hi, Dare to Try Paratriathlon Club, how to adjust the hand cycle video. So in our youth upright bicycle, we also have an adult size upright hand cycle. Got a lever underneath the seat, pull it out, the whole seat slides back. That makes for an easy transfer in or out for the, for the individual. And then if they're not close enough to be able to reach and pedal fully around with their arms, you can pull that lever out towards the wheel, slide the whole seat forward as much as you need to again. So that's really the main adjustment on this particular bicycle. On this bike, you've got a parking brake right here. Squeeze it together, it'll pop out and the bike will roll. You wanna make sure when the athlete is pushing that that parking brake is off. When you're adjusting or transferring the athlete in or out, you wanna make sure that parking brake is on. So you squeeze it and then push the lever forward and you'll see that the bike won't move anymore. In our other youth kind of recumbent hand cycle, got a couple options. We do have a waist strap should the child need it. If not, you can Velcro it among itself behind you so that it's out of the way and make sure it's not dragging on the ground. On this particular bike, you've got your uh, foot plates. You can move them in as close as you need to or as far away depending on the child's leg length. That can be adjusted with a simple Allen wrench right here on the sides. And if you've got a child who's really short or has shorter legs, you can take the entire foot plate out and put it in from the other side so you've got the child's leg able to rest on it and then you would tighten down the clamp with the Allen wrench again. The child's leg's able to rest. So again, the whole foot plate can come out for adjustments. All right, uh, a couple of adjustments that we can make on the adult hand cycles. So we can make an adjustment on the back uh, backrest here on the angle. That can be done using a simple multi-tool with Allen wrenches. Um, as Carrie mentioned in previous videos, we have uh, the footrests. So those are also um, adjustable using a, uh, an Allen wrench too. And uh, once you adjust it, you want to make sure that this is nice and tight and secure and uh, the foot is strapped in securely. We also have a strap that uh, would go around the athlete's waist. So just make sure that the athlete is buckled in and secure and pulling out of the hand cycle. For the cables, we want to make sure that when the athlete is cycling that the cables are in the upright position. We don't want the cables to be down and get caught in the chain. So it's, when they're pedaling, we want to make sure that they're up and uh, not going forward at all. Shifting is done, it could be on the, either the right hand or the left hand side. We have this set up on the right hand side. This is a finger shift. So we can shift to either the front or rear derailleur just using our um, finger facility. All right, on this bike, we do have a parking brake. So it's this lever right here. So you want to, to release it, you just want to hold down. You hear a little click, and that'll release the parking brake so the bike is actually able to move. You squeeze it down, press this little lever in, and that'll lock the bike in place. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about adjusting the footrest and stirrups. So sometimes in order to access the, um, the screw, you'll have to remove the, uh, the Velcro strap. So in order to do that, just underneath. Uh, there's a bolt here. Just use a standard Allen key to loosen that up. This one's a five millimeter. This will loosen up the footrest itself, so you can bring it in or out as necessary, depending on the length of the athlete. And you just want to make sure you tighten that nice and tight so it's secure. Nice and secure. And we're going to add the footrest strap. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about adjusting the seat position and the handlebars for a tandem cyclist. So for the athlete that's in the back, 
Uh, all you need is a simple multi-tool, and depending on the height of the athlete, uh, you can go ahead and loosen up the bolt in the back here. You can bring the seat height up or down. Make sure it's lined up evenly with the frame. Go ahead and tighten it up. Make sure it's nice and tight so it's not wiggling around when the athlete is riding. For the pilot's position, same thing for the seat height. Go ahead and adjust using the multi-tool. This will bring the seat height up or down, depending on their height. You want to tighten that up again, just like we did in the back. And one more thing, you can also adjust the handlebars for the athlete in the back. There's a couple screws on this side, and depending on the position, whether the athlete likes a little bit higher or lower, we can loosen up those bolts and bring the handlebars up or down. Make sure they're nice and tight and they're good to go. All right, we're gonna show you how to transfer and move equipment from one place to another. Um, the easiest way for a hand cycle is to grab the front wheel or the front stirrup. So I'm gonna show you by grabbing the front wheel. So you're just gonna lift it up a little off the ground and then just walk it For a racing chair, you're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab the front wheel, not too high off the ground. With the camber of the back wheels, you don't want to lift too high. When you pull, the chair tends to wobble, so you want to keep the wheel nice and low. Same thing, walking forward. Amanda's going to demonstrate the catch right. Because we have two wheels in front, the easiest thing to do is to grab the back wheel, lift up, and pull forward. 